What's good everybody, it's your boy Rob, RP3, and I'm back with another video. I'm here with five tips to help you up your game on your Galaxy A51. Now, if this is your first time here at my channel, hey, hit the subscribe button and a notification bell so you can be notified of future videos and content from my channel. Now, these tips that I'm about to show you really quick are some things that you can pretty much do on any Samsung phone, but uh, I decided to uh, bring it to the A51 because this is the hottest phone that's out right now. For those of you out there who are budget conscious or mid-range conscious, and if you're looking for a phone, I'm gonna show you some things that you can do help up your game. Now, first up, I'm gonna show you, if you got any little ones in the house who like to use your phone, how to set up parental control. First off, you go to your settings menu. Now, in your settings menu, you scroll down till you find Google. Once you find Google, you tick on it. There's a list that appears. You look for parental control. And this right here is where you set up the Google family link. Now within this parental control settings, you can supervise this phone remotely with the family link app on another device for parents. You can also keep an eye on screen time and set limits as needed for those young ones. And you can add restrictions to Google services like app approvals or content filters on Google Play. You pretty much just set it up, follow the directions who will be using this app, child or, uh, or a teen. You click on that, it pretty much just lets you know, you know, you linking your child's Google account with your own in the group family. Choose the apps for this device and set filters. And then from your own device, set controls like bedtime and screen time limits. Now this work, this can work with your phone or you can set it up on a child that may be old enough to have, let's say for example, a Galaxy Tab or any other item that's um, Samsung related. Once you go in, you select your child's Google account or you can create one for your child right at that moment. After that, everything is pretty much self-explanatory. You pretty much set the limits on what your kid can do. Number two, how to opt out of personalized ads. How many times have you looked at something on uh, your phone and then next thing you know, you got ads based on the last thing you was viewing on the internet? Well, there's a way to opt out of that. First up, Go to your settings. Once you're in your settings, find the Google again, the Google settings. Go into Google settings. Then you see where it says ads. Tick on that. At the top, it says opt out of ad personalization. You click on that and it will, it, it will stop ads from being personalized at things you just look at now this won't stop all the ads but the ads won't you won't feel as creepy as uh it has in the past you don't feel like the phone is watching your every moves and they're not personalized ads you know based on what you're looking at next tip is this battery dose tip now you can set up what apps to fall asleep in the background and what apps you want to stay open. You hit and go into your settings. You scroll down to device care. Tick on device care. After you do that, you click on battery. Then after you do that, you hit app power management. Once you're inside app power management, you have two categories. You have sleeping apps and apps that won't be put to sleep. 
In here, you click on the sleeping apps. You can add as many apps as you want to go to sleep in the background so it doesn't bother you or it's constantly running and draining your battery. Just go through and just click whatever you think you need or you want to be sleeping in the background so it's not drawing energy from your battery. Add and the list compiles right there of those apps that you're requesting to stay asleep in the background. They may not receive updates or send you notifications, but they're not pulling down your battery. If there are apps that are important to you that you want to run in the background, you add them here. Now, one thing is the power slash Bixby button. If you keep hitting that and it turn, turn it on Bixby, there's a way to turn that off. To do that, again, go in your settings. Once you're in your settings, you look for advanced features. Click on advanced features. Once you're inside the advanced features, you look for side key at top. Once you're in the side key, this is where you set everything up. You can press and hold to wake Bixby or to power off your phone, or you can use it a double press to either quick launch your phone or open Bixby or open a favorite app. Next up, the fifth one, how to set up pop-up messages or any other app to pop up while you're in another app. Let's say for example, like YouTube, if you get a text message, you're able to answer that message inside of that app without leaving the app. To do that, go into your settings, go down to advanced features, once you find advanced features, you click on that. Inside of advanced features, you go down to smart pop-up view. Here I enable my message app to turn on. And here's a list of other apps that you can have pop up if you need to get at that app while inside of, let's say if you're looking at a movie or you're looking at YouTube, you can uh, have your favorite app pop up in a smart pop up view and you can address it without leaving the app. So that pretty much does it for the five things you can do to up your Android game on the Galaxy A51. If you like this video, uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please leave those down below. Also, if you have any tips that you would like to add to my five, leave those down below. If I get enough, maybe I'll make another video, a part two. But uh, other than that, I appreciate each and every last one of you guys. Other than that, I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out.